Hello everyone and welcome to Network Labs. Today in this video, we will continue the basic VLAN configuration in Cisco switches. Let us start with private VLAN configuration. In the diagram, a small LAN network is assigned with a single IP network address. A switch is used to interconnect the hosts and server physically. For our task, the server should reach all the hosts and all the hosts should be able to reach the server. On the left side within the community, both hosts should reach each other. On the right side, PC4 and PC5 should not be able to reach each other. The hosts within the community should not be able to reach the hosts on the isolated VLAN and vice versa. Private VLAN is used as additional security and to segregate traffic within a LAN network that is assigned with a single IP network address. Private VLAN has always one primary VLAN. Here, we will use VLAN 600. A primary VLAN has one or more secondary VLANs. There are two types of secondary VLAN. Community and isolated VLAN. For community, we will use VLAN 601, while VLAN 602 for isolated. In the diagram, you can see a server connected to a promiscuous port. All other ports can communicate with the promiscuous port. In a community VLAN, all hosts or ports can reach each other and the server. In an isolated VLAN, the hosts can reach the server but can't reach each other or the other hosts. Now let us proceed with the configuration in switch one. IP addresses are pre-configured on the hosts and in the server. By default, Without any configuration on the switch, all the hosts and server are expected to reach each other via VLAN 1. First to configure is to change the VTP mode. Configuring private VLANs requires us to change the VTP mode to transparent. On the global configuration mode, type the command VTP mode transparent. First create the community VLAN, which is 601. Tell the switch that this is a community VLAN by typing the private VLAN community command. Next, create the primary VLAN, which is 600. Type 
type the private VLAN primary command. Last, we need to tell the switch that VLAN 601 is a secondary VLAN by using the private VLAN association command. Enter the interface facing the hosts within the community VLAN. Tell the switch that these are host ports by issuing the switch port mode private VLAN host command. Use the switch port private VLAN host association command to tell the switch that VLAN 600 is the primary VLAN and 601 is the secondary VLAN. Next, configure the promiscuous port. Enter the interface and type the command switch port mode private VLAN promiscuous. Then, map the VLANs by using the switch port private VLAN mapping command. Before we proceed with the connectivity testing, let us conduct some basic verifications. Verify the switch port information to check the VLAN mapping. Then use the command show private VLAN to check the VLAN information. Primary and secondary VLANs were created and mapped to their respective ports. Now, let us go to the hosts and the server, then conduct ping testing. The server can ping all the hosts. All the hosts can also ping the server. P2 
PC2 and PC3 can reach each other. Let's continue with the configuration of the isolated VLAN. Create VLAN 602. Then type the command private VLAN isolated. Add the association between the primary and secondary VLAN using the private VLAN association add command. Configure the interfaces facing host within isolated VLAN. The configuration is the same with the community VLAN. For the promiscuous port, add new mapping for the isolated VLAN. As we can see, the isolated VLAN is now created and mapped to the hosts and promiscuous ports. Let us conduct ping testing. The server can ping both PC4 and PC5. PC4 and PC5 can also ping the server. but PC4 and PC5 can't ping each other, which is the purpose of the isolated VLAN. Now, let us check if the hosts in isolated VLAN can reach PC2 and PC3 in the community VLAN, and vice versa.
The hosts in the community can't ping the hosts in the isolated VLAN and vice versa. With this, we have successfully met our task for private VLAN scenario. I hope that this is informative to you and thank you for watching.